Chen. About 13 million, yes, million pages of declassified documents from the CIA have been released recently online. And these are really interesting because what do we look for whenever the government releases previously classified documents? Well, aliens, aliens, and more aliens, right? And these documents certainly has a lot of that. It's basically like an alien Sunday with a psychic experiment cherry on top. Yeah, that sounds pretty nasty. Anyway, unsurprisingly, conspiracy theorists are jumping at the opportunity to dig into these documents to find evidence of things they previously could not prove. And if you're wondering how come these documents were suddenly declassified, well, declassifying documents is something that has started since Bill Clinton's presidency in 1995. And since then, each president has amended orders of the past in order to declassify more documents that have historical value. The order required for the declassification of non-exempt historically valuable records, and ever since 1999, the CIA has provided a CIA records search tool, or CREST, a system in Maryland where people could access documents from the CIA. This this database contains more than 11 million pages of historical agency records that have already been declassified and approved for public release. Now, in order to obtain the information provided by Crest, however, you would have to travel all the way to Maryland's National Archives Records Administration and print the pages yourself from one of four computers, which is an extreme hassle. This is kind of like the guy who's pissed off at the DMV and paid his fine in pennies. Anyway, in order to make the entire Crest database public to the general population, an organization called Muckrock filed a Freedom of Information Act lawsuit against the CIA in 2014 to fix the problem. Although the CIA initially argued that declassified records must have their restrictions because of security reasons, they ultimately agreed to release all their documents within a span of six years. But in the fall of 2016, however, the CIA's Litigation Information Review Office said that all the documents would be released in the beginning of 2017. So here they are. The entire archive of CIA documents that have been released is made up of almost 800,000 files, filling up almost 13 million pages of content. And there's a lot of juicy stuff in there. So here are some of the most incredible things learned through the declassified documents. First off, many documents were released about Stargate. No, not the sci-fi series. This is the collective name for a series of top secret projects that ran from the 1970s to the 1990s and investigated advanced psychic functioning, specifically remote viewing. Now, if you don't know, remote viewing can also be referred to as astral projection. And it's basically a psychic ability that transfers perceptual information across time and space. The researchers believe that a person's spirit is able to leave his physical body and is able to view the world around him from a different perspective. And if you're wondering why the CIA started the secret research program, it was because the Russian research into psychic functioning in the late 1960s and 70s was far superior to that of the US, which obviously made the US very, very worried. As a result, a $20 million program was started in order to put more research into psychic functioning and intelligence gathering. I mean, this sounds like the backstory from a spacecraft ghost, but this was completely real. And people who are said to possess psychic powers were trained to to spy for the government and gather information for the U.S. military and agencies like the CIA, NSA, and DIA. One specific Stargate document in the recently released collection of CIA information has to do with Yuri Geller, the spoonbender that I actually made a video about a short while ago. If you guys want to see that, it's in my description box below. While many people believe that Yuri Geller was a proven fake, according to one of the released documents, Yuri Geller actually passed a set of psychic experiments from April 4th to April 11th in 1973, where he was either separated from an agent by an electrically isolated shielded room or separated by having the target draw on the East Coast. His goal was to replicate random drawings of an agent in a separate room or describe a drawing that was posted outside of his electrically shielded room. On the first day, a picture of a fuse was stuck in a separate room and he immediately described the picture to be a cylinder with noise coming out of it. The second picture was grapes and Yuri immediately said he saw drops of water and described purple circles. The following seven days were no different as Yuri continued to shock the agents who were conducting the experiments. The end result was that the CIA described him to be a quote convincing paranormal and asked him to perform tasks such as standing outside the Russian embassy in Mexico and erase floppy disks being flown out by Russian agents. But although the CIA was convinced that Yuri was indeed psychic, they didn't think he was much help at the end of the day. The Stargate project itself was eventually terminated and declassified in 1995 because the information provided by the test subjects was quote vague and included irrelevant and erroneous data. The second interesting thing that came out of these unclassified documents isn't so surprising. It's the CIA's endless hunt for alien life. There are many, many documents that talk about aliens and UFO sightings. One report speaks of an unusual phenomenon on the Iranian USS border in June of 1966 that lasted for five minutes. And another speaks of all the sightings of UFOs since 1947, which explains that approximately 1,500 official reports have been received since then. Many of the sightings occurred in Norway, Spain, North Africa, and the former USSR, although actual proof that the sightings were indeed aliens was not provided. 
Biden. The frightening thing is that there are actual guidelines provided in the documents for people to follow when they see UFOs. The sightings are seen as a matter of national security and the four phases must be followed in order to ensure safety. Detection, identification, interception, and destruction. Not only that, the documents contain guidelines that go into so much detail it's almost impossible to not believe UFOs are a common occurrence. In fact, the guidelines go so far as to contain the size, color, sounds, and unusual features related to the UFOs and aliens themselves. Another interesting release from the documents is new details regarding the infamous MK Ultra project, also known as the CIA Mind Control Program, which involves the specifics of experiments on human subjects using mind control for the purpose of interrogation or the development of new drugs. This project began in the 1950s and ended in the 1970s, where so we think. And the goal of the project was basically to test out mind control techniques in order to obtain information from enemies as well as to create so-called robots who would pretty much do anything they were asked. The ethics of this project are of course highly questionable as this form of mind control was used as a form of torture to weaken people and make them confess things against their wills. The project was involved in many illegal activities that involved using US and even Canadian citizens including prisoners, prostitutes, mental patients, and even the CIA's own operatives. Many times people didn't even know they were being experimented on. The documents noted that some agents were just given LSD in their morning coffee and ended up going crazy in the afternoon. One employee even committed suicide by jumping out of a 13-story hotel window after taking the drug. This was a common occurrence. The project would alter people's brain function and use drugs, chemicals, hypnosis, sensory deprivation, isolation, verbal abuse, and other forms of unbearable torture to achieve their goals. Not only that, the program also consisted of some 149 sub-projects which the agency contracted out to various universities, research foundations, and similar institutions. And around 80 institutions and 185 private researchers were part of it as well. Along with all these horrifying documents, there were also others covering a wide range of subjects like recipes for invisible ink, Fidel Castro, seeing into the future, the Berlin Tunnel Project, and even magic. So if you are interested in what the CIA has been doing for the past many decades, see for yourself what lies within the vast collection of documents in the CIA library. It's literally like the inspiration for Command and Conquer and Spacecraft. Also, I remember watching an episode of Unsolved Mysteries. Let me know if you guys remember this. There was an episode of Unsolved Mysteries specifically talking to past CIA agents who were involved in the Astral Projection Project. And I remember clearly one of them was describing his experience. And he said that he was able to project his mind back in time to a battlefield in World War II. And he, he said he was crawling through the battlefield. And he could feel the bodies beneath him, the dirt beneath him. It was so descriptive. And it's crazy that all these things that you would typically hear about from sci-fi novels or were movies is actually things that the CIA was involved in. But anyway, let me know if you're surprised by anything you heard today. And are you, do you buy into astral projection? Do you buy into psychic abilities? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I'll see you later. Hey guys, happy Wednesday. Thank you so much for watching Beyond Science. It's Mike Chen. About 13 million, yes, million pages of declassified documents from the CIA have been released recently online. And these are really interesting because what do we look for whenever the government releases previously classified documents? Well, aliens, aliens, and more aliens, right? And these documents certainly has a lot of that. It's basically like an alien Sunday with a psychic experiment cherry on top. Yeah, that sounds pretty nasty. Anyway, unsurprisingly, conspiracy theorists are jumping at the opportunity to dig into these documents to find evidence of things they previously could not prove. And if you're wondering how come these documents were suddenly declassified, well, declassifying documents is something that has started since Bill Clinton's presidency in 1995. And since then, each president has amended orders of the past in order to declassify more documents that have historical value. The order required for the declassification of non-exempt historically valuable records, and ever since 1999, the CIA has provided a CIA records search tool, or CREST, a system in Maryland where people could access documents from the CIA. This this database contains more than 11 million pages of historical agency records that have already been declassified.